Welcome back to Plus TV Africa, the breakfast uh, time for us to tell you what happened today in history that uh, 2020. Now today in uh, 2020, uh, that today being the 3rd of November, uh, what happened was the U.S. presidential election, the U.S. presidential election uh, between Democratic Joe Biden and Republican President Donald Trump, who was the incumbent go go president at the time. And on November the 7th, Biden was declared the winner. So yes, that happened uh, on 2020. United States presidential election was uh, held on Tuesday, November the 3rd, 2020. The Democratic ticket for former Vice President Joe Biden and the junior U.S. Senator from California, uh, Kamala Harris, defeated the incumbent Republican President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. The election took place against the backdrop of the global COVID-19 pandemic and COVID-19 recession. It was the first election since 1992 and the fifth in the past century in which the incumbent president failed to win the second term. The election saw a, record, uh, a recorded number of ballot casts vote uh, by mail due to ongoing pandemic. And you also had many more Democrats voted by mail than the Republic as a result of large number of the mail in uh, ballot some swing states saw delays in vote counting and reporting. November 3rd ended without a clear winner as many state results were too close to call and millions of votes remain uncounted. Now some Trump supporters expressed concern of possible fraud after seeing the president leading in some other states on election night only to see Biden takes the lead in subsequent days. I remember vividly how Nigerians were very keen about that particular election. Of course they should be keen because when you talk about world democracy, uh, the United States, you will always call. So yes, we're looking out uh, you know, for what was going to happen, how fair and credible that election was going to be. And I think that we really had a lot of Democrats, no, Republicans uh, in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> the Nigerian Republicans? <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of Republicans here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> not in the United States of America. It was really awesome, however. Um, I remember <laughs> also that there were there were certain church groups, you know, that were you know doing their procession for uh, um, Donald Trump, you know, the Donald Trump support group here in Nigeria, and of course, yes, the Nigerian Republican and the Nigerian Democrats uh, group. Um, but which it was we, which party? <laughs> <laughs> I think I was a Democrat. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, a lot of people had, uh, you know, some reason why they didn't want uh, Joe Biden to win because of some of the policies or some of the things he would stand for. Um, they which didn't I know what, it, what, what you were talking to the Nigerians now? The Nigerians. Please. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but I think it was, it was, a, it's a, it was a pretty interesting uh, um, election. Uh, the mail-in ballots aspect, you know, where, you know, like you mentioned, you know, at, at night, you know, it seems like Donald Trump is winning, you know, by the next morning things are different uh, because mail-in ballots you know, were coming in, you know, in droves and changing the, the, the numbers, the Electoral College. Um, and, you know, I think it was also the first time that I got to actually understand how the electoral pr um, process in the United States works. Um, so it's not about the number of votes that you, 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 um, you get, it's the number of um, Electoral College, what's the word now? Uh, whatever, I electoral like college for each each county or each state or whatever. I, I don't know how to say it, um, but I understood it better. You know how how the whole process worked um, in the United States, which was very very interesting to see. Um, I also remember that this also led to the build up to the um, attack on the Capitol on the sixth of November or sixth of January. Sorry, um, you know the uh, the following year, but it was interesting. Very interesting. On this day, um, Joe Biden, of course, uh, eventually got to defeat uh, Donald Trump in the U.S. elections. That's uh, today in history. We'll be back after the short break to give you updates on the uh, collapse of a building in Ikoyi here in Lagos. <laughs>